There we go. Up this way. Damn it! They've blown the entrance! That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. <laughs> in here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? A bunk? Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Sav get that task. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. 
Don't forget Ganesh. Oh. Glad I brought this. Through here. <sighs> Magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? Okay. <laughs> That's our way back in. We're going first, eh? You're welcome. Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here.
Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. As well. What on earth is this place? Throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I see stairs going up. But they're mostly bread. I'll have to find another way up. Shit. I just realized something. I think I know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon. Exactly. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those freaks are on the chamber. I'll give this a spin. The hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I've just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. Okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Coming? I'm going to search the other side. Okay. Ah. There's another crank up ahead. Okay, I better get a move on. No going back now. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, good suggestion. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Nearly destroyed my pants. I can see my house from here. Dead. I'll be right down. Ah, ah, slippery. Thank you. I've got this one. <laughs> Bringing down Shiva's drum. Uh -oh. This one's like the trident. Time to move. <laughs> Come on, jump to the drum. I thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. <laughs> Turn the water on for this side. 
And here we go. Now we've got water running down both sides. Look. Oh, shall we? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. right yeah now we tend to the other two you were wrong of course i was about what what you said back in that place with all the statues hexes things always come in threes three points of a trident the light split into three beams Oh shit, this one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. There. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. They found us! Get you ready! Shit!
Well, now that was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? What the hell is she doing here? You said find out, my god, help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. The kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on Oh, on way. the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. Uh, He's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Sharama.
anything stupid. Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! Yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. He yielded. Huh? Are you all right? Here. That was unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak, powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes!
waterlogged. <laughs> Doing great. <laughs> I gotta quit smoking. <coughs> Don't! I think they saw us? Let's hope not. How the hell did Asaf get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Just over heard Asaf talking about <coughs> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. It's not much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh... <clears throat> back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I no, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. <laughs> 